Greetings everyone. This is my weekly update. Our thrift store will be open for customers beginning on August 3rd. Our Knights from the Parish have secured bottles of water that I blessed for holy water. And if you'd like one, just see one of the Knights after Mass. Or if, you don't, if you're not coming yet to the Masses, just come by the Parish office at some point and you can pick up the, a bottle of holy water. Breaking Bread hymnals are also available for you to keep take with you back and forth to church. Um, that way, if you want to read the readings, if you want to sing the songs, um, which we encourage, of course, you can do that. Also, this may be the last update that I will be giving you as I will be leaving the parish on the 31st. Um, so for my new assignment, Our Lady of the Lakes in Deltona. So I really want to thank everyone for their cards, the gifts, the, the drive-by farewell, um, little tokens of appreciation. I got a loaf of bread. I got some wine. I got some rum. I got all sorts of things. So thank you. I am just so humbled and honored to have been your pastor for these nine years. And I will take you always in my heart and uh, know that uh, you're always going to be with me. So for today, actually tomorrow on Saturday, will be the Feast of St. Christopher. You're not going to see it listed anywhere officially, but unofficially. July 25th is the Feast of St. Christopher. So I thought I would share with you a little bit about who St. Christopher was. He was a giant of a man who was looking to serve the most powerful person in the realm. And so he thought, obviously, his king would be that person. But when the king would cower when he knew that the devil was prowling near and he would make the sign of the cross, this man who would become Christopher thinks, hmm, maybe the devil is more powerful than my king. And so he decides he's going to serve Satan. And when he does that, he finds this band of uh, roving uh, brigands, if you will, and begins to ser serve Satan that way. But as soon as they see a cross, either in the trees or on the ground or in the, uh, on a fence post, they cower. And so he realizes that Satan's not the most powerful person to serve, but it must be this Christ. Now, he didn't know much about Christ. But he found a monk who did, and who was teaching him in the faith and telling him all who Jesus was. And so he says, you need to go and serve the Lord. And he goes, well, I don't know how to do that. So he says, well, you're a big man. People oftentimes have to cross the river. Why don't you go and help people cross the river? So he decides, I will do that. But he wasn't sure how that would really be serving Christ. But one day, as he's crossing the river, he's taking the small child on his shoulders and as he's going through the river, the child's getting heavier and heavier on his shoulders. And he's wondering why that's the case. So he gets to the other side, places the child down, and says, you're just a small child. Why are you so heavy? And he says, I am the Christ. You've just borne all the cares of the world on your shoulders. And so Christopher learned that he was, in fact, serving Christ. The name Christopher is the Greek for Christopheros, which means Christ-bearer. So literally his name meant what he did. Um, some would say that perhaps the, 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 this is a, more of a story or an image of a person, but others would think that there really was a man who did that kind of thing back in the third century. So either way, it's a great ideal to live up to. How can we serve the Lord? We oftentimes will serve him best in serving his people. So with that, may Almighty God bless you today and every day, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you all.